Friday the 16th of May we opened up the brand new extension at the museum and that consists of three galleries. One is Jack Richards Gallery with International Decorative Arts and the um, two other spaces are changing spaces for the museum to use, a larger and a smaller one which we will use for temporary change out shows. Um, the evening event was um, opened with three speakers. We had the chair of our board, Michael Muir, we had our patron, Jack Richards, and the extension was officially opened by the Honourable Anne Tolly on behalf of Chris Finlayson. A museum like this uh, in a small city such as Gisborne serves a number of purposes. Because it's a bicultural community, it serves as a storehouse of treasures from the Maori culture, and so it has a large and important Maori collection. It, it also serves to, to showcase art by Gisborne and national artists, of course, as well as uh, changing exhibitions from time to time. We are very lucky to have Jack. He's very generous, a huge supporter of Tairawhiti Museum uh, and, the, and the cultural life here in Gisborne. So although it's a small gallery, uh, it has an important role to play in the, in the community. People come here, it has a strong educational outreach program for young students. People come to see things, to learn things, and also to uh, expand their their vision, if you like, to get a glimpse of what uh, people who work in the arts are capable of, of uh, creating. Well, it's meant that we can actually now properly clear, care for our collections with the storage below, but far more importantly that we can actually display the riches of both our collection and others' collections in fabulous new spaces which are of a standard we haven't had before. Some of the things you see here are items that I've had in my uh, houses in different places. I've got, uh, some came from my property in Australia, some of them came from my house in New Zealand, but I basically have too much material to put out at any one time. So the La Ligue glass, for example, takes up an entire room of my Gisborne residence. Much of the other uh, items in the collection, many of them have been in storage, textiles and so on. So it seems a bit silly to have these beautiful objects locked away and so um, the, that's why I thought it would be nice to make them available for other people to, to enjoy and principally located here in Gisborne because I have a personal connection to Gisborne and to this museum and to the, the people who work here so it's a little bit of an opportunity to share with um, uh, fellow residents of Gisborne some of the things that I've been fortunate enough to acquire over the years and I, I think they'll enjoy them as well. These vases are quite rare in the sense that uh, the coloured glass of La Ligue was not that popular in its day because it was very expensive. More, more po popular uh, was the opalescent glass, and you see both uh, opalescent and coloured glass in this display. Uh, they were uh, mass-produced, but we're not sure as to how many of each vase was manufactured. They were manufactured over a period of time, um, up to the Second World War, really. Vases like this can cost, the bigger vases uh, would have cost up to uh, 40,000 US dollars for one vase, a large rare vase, and uh, some, of the, some of them can even cost a lot more than that. So it depends on the, the, the rarity of the vase. This case displays uh, some textiles from Java from the 1920s and 1930s. These batik textiles are very complex to make. They are a wax and dye process that can take several months to make a particular textile and this style of textile was, was much uh, valued by the Indonesian Chinese women who, who wore them uh, on special occasions. So I acquired many of my textiles through a dealer in Singapore who specializes in, uh, collection, in, in textiles of this period. We have got here in our new extension we've got environmentally controlled galleries but also uh, you, you rely on benefactors and collectors to provide some of these things. There are touring shows that you can always get, but to have the richness that we see in Jack Richards' gallery um, only comes from having somebody who's a benefactor or a collector of that scale. This case displays some beautiful Japanese lacquerware. Two of the objects are 
containers for doing calligraphy, so they display the paintbrushes and the, the ink. The other is just a storage box, but lacquerware likewise is a, is a complex uh, a substance to work with. It's made of uh, the sap of a tree which is uh, coloured and, uh, and baked and beautiful designs are incorporated into it as you see in these, uh, in these objects here. Over the years I've also been interested in collecting Chinese porcelain. Um, I have a lot of beautiful blue and white porcelain from the Ming and Qing dynasty periods and in, in the cabinet you see a few examples of blue and white porcelain. Um, in one of the other cabinets you see a lovely Ming vase which is in um, a reddish glaze, the, the design. And so again Chinese porcelain was much valued both in China and in the, in the West and uh, was often exported and so we talk about export where much of the porcelain in my collection is what we would call export where it was made for the export market. You know I've got a couple of quotes from people who've gone into the gallery that stick out for me. You know I've heard people go in and say it's like being inside a jewellery box. And um, somebody else said the other day, of course, it wasn't at the opening. It's like an oasis of beauty and calm. And that's, you know, what is better than that? You know, and if it inspires people and uplifts people, what, what more can you ask for? Just beautiful. I just think, I think we're just so lucky the people of Gisborne have such a wonderful collection. What I plan to focus on in the future is acquiring objects that will complement this collection and look good in the gallery. So. Um, who knows what they may be. Decorative arts is a very broad term and so I'll continue to be on the lookout for interesting decorative objects from different cultures that, um, that I can um, acquire and add to this collection for other people to enjoy.